Today in the lecture of engineering drawing, we will study the orthographic projection. In the previous lecture, we have studied the projection of point and line in which we have studied the position of points in the different planes with respect to its front view and top view. And in the projection of line, we have studied the true length of the line and the angle of inclination of the line and also the projection of front view and top view with respect to its vertical and horizontal plane. Now in this lecture, in the engineering drawing, we will study the orthographic projection. Now what is the meaning of orthographic projection? The orthographic projection is a drawing in which we can able to draw any view of any, uh, uh, any perspective view of any plane or any object in a 3D form. Now first of all, we will see the engineering drawing. It is classified as the first one is the building related drawing and the second is machine component drawing. The building related and machine component both are classified into orthographic projection and the second one is the isometric projection. The orthographic projection includes the front view, top view, side view in a mechanical engineering term and the plan elevation in the case of civil term. It is also said to be as working drawing of the two types because in the orthographic projection only 2D drawing is possible means the different views of any drawing any object is possible and the second option is the isometric drawing the isometric drawing it consists of the 3D model if any 3D model is there we have to draw the 30 degree model which is the said to be as isometric in the terms of engineering term and the perspective in the case of the civil term it is a actual 3d object the isometric is said to be as actual 3d object in this lecture we will study the orthographic projection means the view of an isometric or the isometric view or 3d object view in the different views front that is front view top view and side view okay what is orthographic projection it is a technical drawing in which different views of an object are projected on the different reference plane observing the perpendicular to the respective reference plane. For example, I have an example of this duster in which we can able to draw the front view. It is the front view and it is the front view of the plane, it is a side view and it is a top view means the different views of the any projection of any pectoral view is possible in the case of orthographic projection drawings but for drawing any plane or for drawing any view of an 3d object the reference plane is is the must in which by taking the reference of that particular plane plane the orthographic projection is to be done okay the different views in orthographic projection are front view, top view and side view and the different reference plane are horizontal plane, vertical plane, side or profile plane and the front view is always projected on the vertical plane, top view is always projected on the horizontal plane and side view is always projected on the perspective plane. Okay, now First of all, we will study about the different types of plane. Here, I have a model of different types of plane. Here, I have a model of this plane. It consists of the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. The first, the f this first quadrant consists. This first, I have, I have four, four quadrant planes in which. It consists of the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. We have to study in orthographic projection the drawing related the first quadrant and the third quadrant. The always the in the case of first quadrant, the horizontal plane is always kept in the horizontal line, and vertical plane is always kept in the vertical direction. This plane is said to be as horizontal plane. 
and this plane in the vertical direction is said to be as the vertical plane always from the from the first to fourth all the four quadrants are kept by using the anti clockwise direction that is all the form first second third and fourth all the fourth quadrants are related in the anti clockwise direction only now we will study the first of all the principal plane in which the principal plane are horizontal plane and vertical plane this this is the plane in the vertical direction which is said to be as vertical plane and the plane in the horizontal direction is said to be as vertical horizontal plane now related to this there are different types of plane which are perpendicular or inclined to the vertical plane and horizontal plane this plane are said to be as auxiliary planes means this vertical plane and horizontal plane these are the two planes with the help of which we can able to draw the different reference means different projections of any object of any 3d object or any pictorial view now when we keep the reference of this vertical or horizontal plane the new plane is said to be as the auxiliary plane it is my palm and when i keep perpendicular and or at any angle to the horizontal and vertical plane this plane is said to be as the auxiliary plane and in any direction whether in this direction or in the opposite direction so this plane is used to do the pro to take the projection as a reference plane in the side view whether it is left hand side or right hand side of an object now the auxiliary planes are divided into the first one is the auxiliary vertical plane which which is also said to be as avp auxiliary inclined plane which is also said to be as aip and the last one is the profile plane that is pp now i want to take one example of the orthographic projection i have one duster it is an example of or it is an example of the perspective view that is the pictorial view or a 3d object this duster is considered as a solid object now i want to take the different views i want to take the different views of this duster first of all first of all this portion when we see when an observer see from the front from this direction then this portion is said to be as the front view when an observer see from the top when observer see from the top then this this view is said to be as top view when an observer when observes from this side and this side in both the direction it is said to be as left hand side and right hand side view by considering the all these views and taking the reference plane as horizontal vertical and perspective planes the different views can be drawn on the reference planes now first of all when we consider the front view then in the front view we will observe the rectangular shape this is the rectangular shape of the specified dimensions it is said to be a rectangular shape having the white portion so we have to draw the rectangular shape in the case of the front view now when we observe the top view as i see the top view is of inclined shape when we see from this direction the top view is of inclined shape but when it is projected on the respective plane the top view which is of inclined line or we at any angle is observed as the rectangle of any given dimension when we see the side view it is the side view of the duster when we see the side view then we will observe this uh, this length then the inclined length it is the inclined line from the side view same in the opposite direction and this this length so the side view will be observed as a rectangle having the inclined lines on the uh, inclined lines on the both the opposite side and also the slot we can see the slot middle the duster at the duster this is a slot so the slot also be drawn in the side view so these are the basic funda to draw the different views by using the different top view front view and side view now i want to take the reference 
to draw this object now I am considering this plane as the first quadrant in which it is a horizontal and vertical plane now I will keep this duster on the horizontal plane that is in the first it is in the first quadrant and I will keep this duster on the horizontal plane now when an observer observes from the front view now it is the front view it is the front view now if the observer observes in the front view then he will observe the rectangle in the front view this is the length of the rectangle and this is the height of the rectangle the projection of the rectangle in the front view will project it on the vertical plane the projection of the rectangle will project it on the vertical plane why because the observer uh, observes from the front view and its projection will fall on the directly on the vertical plane so the reference plane of the front view will always the vertical plane in the first quadrant right now when the observer observes the top view when you see the top view of this duster of this object then the projections of this duster of this 3d object will objected on the horizontal plane if i tilt to see clearly the top view okay now when we see from the top it is a horizontal plane it is a horizontal plane when we see from the top then we will see the reference points the projection points of this duster directly on the horizontal plane so what we conclude that if you want to see the top view if you want to project the top view the reference plane should be the horizontal plane in the case of first quadrant now if I want to see the side view whether it is left hand side or right hand side then I have to take one additional plane that is said to be as auxiliary auxiliary plane in which if you want if we I if I will take the auxiliary plane in the perpendicular to the horizontal sorry in the vertical and horizontal plane then I have to keep the auxiliary plane in the perpendicular direction means perpendicular to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the horizontal plane now it is my additional plane it is said to be as profile plane it is my additional auxiliary plane which is said to be as profile plane now an observer will see from this direction from, from this side view then the projectors will be projected on this profile plane so it is the funda to draw the side view if I want to draw the side view then the projectors then the orthographic projections of the side view will be projected directly on the profile plane now we will see the further examples and further explanation of the front view now see it is the vertical auxiliary vertical plane which is always makes an angle with the vertical plane as we see in the figure it is a AVP is said to be as auxiliary vertical plane and it makes an angle with the vertical plane and it is always perpendicular to the horizontal plane now the next one we will see the auxiliary inclined plane it is also said to be as AIP in which the auxiliary plane is inclined at any angle with the horizontal plane as you see in the figure the auxiliary plane in the inclined form will always perpendicular to the vertical plane and always makes an angle that is alpha with the horizontal plane now in the profile plane the horizontal plane the profile plane will always perpendicular to both the horizontal plane and vertical plane so this is the basic funda for the plane to understand now we will see one video presentation related to the auxiliary plane okay it is an object which is kept in horizontal plane and vertical plane in the first quadrant this object is said this plane is said to be as auxiliary inclined plane is then this plane is said to be as auxiliary vertical plane now we, we will consider the different views 
related to the auxiliary inclined plane and auxiliary vertical plane now this angle indicate that the auxiliary inclined plane will always perpendicular to the vertical plane and it take it makes an angle at any angle that is theta with the verti horizontal plane so this is the horizon this is the angle making at any any angle with the horizontal plane which is said to be as auxiliary plan it is the auxiliary plan that is when we want to see the auxiliary from the top view then the plane is said to be as auxiliary plan now we will consider the auxiliary elevation or auxiliary vertical plane the auxiliary vertical plane will always makes any angle or which is inclined with the vertical plane so in the figure we will see that the auxiliary plane makes an angle alpha with the vertical plane and the pl auxiliary plane is at 90 degree or at perpendicular to the horizontal plane and this plane is also said to be as auxiliary elevation why because if you want to see the elevation of any object then this auxiliary uh, vertical plane is said to be as the auxiliary elevation in which the front or the elevation of any object is possible to see at the angle at any angle with the vertical plane and 90 degree angle or the perpendicular with the horizontal plane okay now this plane in the ground level is said to be as horizontal plane the perpendicular to the horizontal plane is said to be as vertical plane and in the side in the side direction means in left hand whether it is in the left hand side or right hand side perpendicular to the both horizontal plane and vertical plane is said to be as profile plane it is an isometric object now in this figure the isometric object or any 3d object is projected on the horizontal plane so this ho this projected plane is said to in the horizontal plane this view is said to be as 